Now that's upsetting video. It's showing people harassing and frightening the sea lions in La Jolla over the holiday. New at 5 o'clock, 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco explains why stopping this kind of behavior is so difficult. <laughs> The video is disturbing. Children and adults getting dangerously close to sea lions. The wild animals clearly agitated, barking, snapping, and lunging at the unwanted visitors. Here you can see two sea lions huddled together, frightened as a crowd surrounds them taking pictures. This man is seen dancing around them. This guy puts an infant right next to the sea lion's face, even after it snapped. This clip shows children repeatedly trying to pet and poke the animals. An animal rights activist shot this video December 30th. We were at the La Jolla Tidelands Friday afternoon. Once again, we saw people down on the rocks too close to the sea lions. I think they're pretty cool. I just wanted to pet them. David Richardson is here with his family from Fresno. He says he didn't realize it's illegal to get within 50 yards of a marine mammal. I wanted to pet him, but then my buddy Mitchell tried to, and he like, kept making like a weird noise. That so-called weird noise, a sign the animals are in distress. That's a natural defensive behavior by the animals, but clearly dangerous for people. These are, these are many hundred pound animals with uh, with very strong jaws. A spokesman with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the agency is aware of this video. There was no ranger on duty the day it was shot, and limited staffing makes enforcement tough. We just don't have enough people to be present there at all times. And you can see even though those people are on the cliffs and the sea lions are below them down on the rocks, they are still technically too close. And violating the Marine Mammal Protection Act can lead to thousands of dollars of fines and even up to a year in jail. A ranger does patrol, but not full time and not just this area. Coming up new at 7, we're asking the agency what it's doing to try to protect these animals from getting bothered by tourists. Reporting live in La Jolla, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. A saga that's gone on for decades. Thank you, Rachel.